Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I have two things to point out. One, the background it has changed and that is because the Gecko bookshelves are finally finished. Finally! So all the upgrades for all the Leopard Gecko enclosures, which are Gecko bookshelves if you didn't know, uh, have been completed. They are running great. They look great. I'm so excited about it. The second thing I want to point out, this is not a zit. This is a bruise. My dog literally blasted me in the face the other day because I had to leave really early in the morning to drop off a turtle that we rescued. It's a whole store. I'm going to make a video about it, but I had to drop it off at the vet with my fiance. And when we came back, my dog was like super excited to see me, blasted me in the nose with, that's him right now actually, <laughs> blasted me in the nose with his tooth. So thanks for that, buddy. But anyways, this video I'm gonna try and, you know, not make such a long intro for, but I need to preface it with a couple things. So you're gonna be seeing the gecko bookshelves as they currently are in this video. Most of the bookshelves or the sh individual shelves in general are decorated and they have geckos in them. Two of the shelves do not have geckos in them. That's one behind me right there and then one in the shelves over there. So there are two vacant spots. You're also going to see a new gecko in this video who lives in one of the shelves over there. Some of the shelves are kind of lacking in decor such as Asha's. She needs plants and Shireen. She needs more stuff too. So like this is not a complete setup of how they're going to look. So there's definitely more decor to go in them and I hope you keep that in mind when you watch the video. If you have any questions about the gecko bookshelves, I'll leave the video in the links below and I'll also leave it at the end of this video so that you can click on it and watch it. It'll answer all your questions. One more thing I'd like to note before we get into today's video is that some of my geckos have special needs. Actually, I'd say over half have special needs and have to be hand fed. So a lot of the geckos in these smaller bookshelves have enigma syndrome or stunted growth. That's why they're in the smaller ones. Enigmas are stressed out by large spaces. So it's better to keep them in small spaces, which is why they're in the smaller bookshelves. And you'll notice that they have to be tong fed. This is because they can't hunt on their own. So if you're new to my channel, that's just a little bit for you. And I'm also going to link below what Enigma Syndrome is and why I have to tong feed them because of it. Anyways, that's all. Now go ahead and watch my geckos eat in their new bookshelves. It's very beautiful, very exciting. I'm excited to share it with you. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey you guys, I'm coming to you with my sleepy morning face and I'm actually in the editing process of this video right now. You can see my bruise is still there. Um, but basically I want to say please for the love of God, do not say that your gecko has enigma syndrome if you don't know if your gecko is an enigma. Enigma is a morph. If you got your gecko from a breeder and the breeder didn't say it was an enigma, it's not an enigma. If you got your gecko from a pet store, it's probably not an enigma. If you got your gecko off of Craigslist and the person didn't say it was an enigma, it's probably not an enigma. Just because your gecko has difficulty eating does not mean it is an enigma, does not mean it has enigma syndrome, does not mean it even has a neurological disorder. One of like the hugest problems I've had ever since posting any feeding video ever is that people will automatically assume that their gecko has enigma syndrome just because it has difficulty hunting on its own. A lot of leopard geckos are derpy and they have trouble hunting on their own. Um, you'll see Renly for example. Renly's one of my geckos. She does not have enigma syndrome and she has difficulty eating because she has some depth perception issues. Not related to a neurological disorder, not related to enigma syndrome. So I had to put this in the video. I had to prep it by saying please do not say your gecko has enigma syndrome if it is not an enigma you're only going to do more damage to the idea of what enigma syndrome is if you're just over labeling geckos who aren't even enigmas with enigma syndrome thank you let's go ahead and get started so first up we have miss mira who is currently hiding let's see if i can get a clip of her oh there's her little cute face hi sweetie oh what an angel but she doesn't like being tongue fed, so she has mealworms in a bowl. But yeah, she's she's pretty unexciting in terms of videos, but I love her cute little face. Will you come see me? No, she's not even, look, she don't care. And this is Miss Aria, ready for the action. Hold on, miss, I'll get you a worm. You gotta be patient. But Aria, you might notice her nostril. I'll show, I'll show you after she's done eating. Uh oh, it dropped. Hold on, my sweet. My sweet, there you go. So that nostril on this side has like a cloggage, a cloggage, oh my God, it has a clog. I'm not sure like why all of a sudden it's been acting up. She's always had a skin growth over the other nostril ever since I got her from a former owner, but as you can see now it's like swelling. So I'm not sure what it is, but she has a vet appointment on Wednesday. 
poor Aria. She didn't seem to be in any discomfort because she's eaten and like moved all around her house and all kinds of stuff. So not sure what it is, but we'll get it checked out and I'll let you know. This beautiful queen, it's blurry right now. Oh my gosh, focus, thank you, is Melisandre. And, oh, she got it. She's an enigma, so she has to be tongue fed. My rat's just squeaking in the background because Finn is protesting being groomed by his brother. <laughs> you guys are so much. But yeah, that's Melis Andre. She's a Nimbus Syndrome, and this is her, her house right now. She does really well with it. It's like the exact same from what she was living in before, except the caves are a little bit like darker, actually, so it's probably a good thing. But that's Melis Andre. My gecko Shireen has not been eating. I'm not sure if it's because she got moved to a new house because she was kind of being picky before. Oh my god, this superworm right now is playing games with me. But we'll see. Nope, see, she's like offended that I even showed it to her. Okay, that's all right, Queenie. That's all right. I think what I'm gonna have to do is order some hornworms to restart her appetite because she hasn't eaten in a couple weeks. Oh, sweetheart. That's all right. We'll get you some hornworms, huh? Okay, okay, okay. My, my bad, I did not mean to offend. Sorry, Shireen. Oh, side note, Shireen is a gecko that has severe enigma syndrome, but she does pretty well for herself. Don't you, Shireen? Oh, stargazing. Stargazing. Literally. Oh. Beautiful little enigma gecko. As you can see, Eddard right now is in shed, so I'm not entirely sure if he's going to eat, but we're going to try because he loves dinner time. So, uh-oh. No, not feeling it, honey. No. Just because you're about to shed, honey. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Usually, Eddard is very colorful, very exciting in terms of his personality. But right now, he's about to shed. So, he's like, please leave me alone, mother. So, I shall. Also, Eddard has enigma syndrome. You can see just how in shed he is because, like, it's literally starting to pull off of, the bo of his body in the back. Poor guy. Poor Eddie. Anyone who knows Eddard knows he's usually very like colorful and energetic and fun. Poor guy's in shed. I think it stresses him out like really bad due to his enigma syndrome. So, poor guy. He's gonna go chill, I think. Love you, Eddie. See you next time. So this is my African fat tail Asha. And <laughs> look, she's looking right at us now. You can kind of see her humpback right there. Everyone always goes, eh, the bakes are supposed to hump naturally. Well, she actually has a physical spinal bump. Like it's a, even when you straighten her out, look, she's lemming. <laughs> even when you straighten her out, she still has a bump. Um, it's an actual problem she has. She also has stunted growth. I think that she might actually be a dwarf, but I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, and by dwarf, I mean like it's not purposeful. Like she has dwarfism, like a condition, a medical genetic con condition. Anyways, so this is Asha, and because she is so little, she tends to get like chubby faster than the other geckos. So she can't be fed as much as them, which is like sad, but also kind of funny because she's just so little and she puts on that weight fast, <laughs> like me. But anyway, yeah, this is Asha. She's the only non leopard gecko that lives in the gecko bookshelves. And her house is like not fully decorated. Of course, it's not even focused. Like, look how boring it is. Two hides and a human hide. Wah, wah, and it's out of focus again. Oh my God, literally. Thank you. Um, I need to get some plants still, but yeah, Asha doesn't really care. She just stays in her hides most of the time. She's usually in that one or this one. <laughs> but yeah, that's Miss Asha. I had to get her humid hide to spray it. So I figured I'll show you guys her face and her, her humpback and also her giant size right now. Of course, why is it focusing? Good God. But yeah, you see her actual bump right there? See it? Yeah, it's, that, that's not normal, people. People always tell me her and Genova, like, oh, their backs are supposed to look like that. I'm like, no, they actually have humpbacks, but okay, you know what you're talking about. So this is Marjorie. She has stunted growth and a neurological, neurological disorder. God, I say that word so many times. Here you go. Good girl. <laughs> she's so cute. Anyways, that's Marjorie. I think she's about to shed because she's looking real pale. Anyone worried about the mark on her nose or her eye? Don't worry, they're just little tiny scratches. They'll be gone by her next shed. Yeah, you're so cute. And this is Marjorie's house, which is 
done it's completely done like I don't have to do anything more to it. it looks great and she really likes it she loves her tree trunk she's always had it she climbs the inside of it it's very cute I'm gonna get her another one since that super room was so little can you go sweet let's see I'll show you try to get it on her own oh she actually got it look at her go usually she doesn't get it on the first try good girl good girl yeah munch it munch it good girl Look, I've got her going to her enclosure. I mean, her hide. See, told her she's a little bit on a chunky side. <laughs> Bye, Asha. So this is Merlin, and he hasn't eaten the past couple days. I think he's ready for hornworms, too. He gets bored of his mealworms, and that's the only thing he'll eat. So, like, thanks, Merlin. Wait, where did you go? Come here. Hi, I see you. <laughs> Hi, you coming out? Yeah. So Merlin is actually an enigma. He does not have enigma syndrome, but he's got some real weird body deformities and stuff. Here, let me show you. Come here. Oh, let's see. Look at those ears. They're pointed. He has a very flat head. His shoulder bones stick out. His spine sticks out. He's just a weird gecko, but he's also beautiful. He's a diamond-shaped head, too, like an arrowhead. All right, come here. I'll put you back. Here you go. Anyway, that's Merlin, and this is his house. So this gecko is Tormund, and Tormund also has a neurological disorder. Oh, as you just saw, her head flipped back like that. That's not normal. Here, go ahead and try and get it on your own. Good girl. Most of the time she can't either, so I'm like really impressed with the success they're having tonight, both her and Marjorie. But as Tormund, she has one little eye. As you can see, the little eye is on this side. Focus. Here we are. And then her big eye, come here, let me just rotate you, is right there. Or her normal sized eye. But that's Tormund, a sweet little lady who has a boy name because I thought she was a boy. But she's not. So this gecko is Amy. And she is healthy. She can eat all on her own. Please do so <laughs> on camera, Amy. It's going to get away. Oh my goodness. Goodness me, Amy. I adopted Amy um, from someone who was moving out of state or rehomed. That's a better word, not adopted, rehomed. But yeah, that's Miss Amy. She's easy, easy to care for, easy going. Fun fact about Amy, she poops in her hammock. This is Fritz and he's also healthy and can eat on his own, but he's like really close to the edge. So I was going to tongue feed him so it doesn't run off, but he normally eats just on his own. Good boy. Anyways, Fritz, easy going, healthy, big old male, and my first leopard gecko I ever got. And this is what his enclosure looks like right now. So this gecko in here is Varus, and he normally won't come out until he sees food. There he is. Oh, it's gonna get away, Varus. You hear I was talking you up. Come here. You can see his head's in there. He's looking at it. Come on out. Oh dear. Well, I might walk right past him. Dude, what are you thinking? Oh, I know why he's upset he's in the shed. He typically eats right before he goes in the shed, though. Want some food? Do you want it? You don't have to if you don't want to. No? Okay, that's fine. We'll put it away. So that's Varus. He was a rescue, and he's a giant boy. And he's also in shed, so we're gonna leave him be. Rosella, it's blurry, give me a second. Uh, she is an enigma and she can hunt all on her own. If she ever sees it, oh my goodness, look, queen. Oh, I just dropped something. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna not get it? Good girl. Sorry, I keep dropping a water bottle, which is just like really annoying. But yeah, that's Rosella. She's just a little girl who's really crazy and she has very slight enigma syndrome. And this is her house. So this gecko is new to you. She's also new to the channel. Her name is Egret, and I've been waiting to get her for months, but I had to wait until um, the gecko bookshelves were completely built and for the weather to be good. And then the Hurricane Florence happened and there was shipping delays and all kinds of stuff. She has been eating from tongs the past couple days, but it looks like right now she's not interested. Look, it's over here, Queenie. Look. Oh goodness. Yeah, let me give you a better angle. See if I can. It's hard to. Come here. Uh oh. No, you don't want to? You don't want to, little queen? She literally ate the first two nights I tried this, and then last night she was in the shed, so she didn't. 
So I don't know, maybe she's not feeling it today. Oh, she might not be feeling it. Well, what I'll do for her then is leave some mealworms in a bowl and that's about all I can do. Oh, bye Egret, see you later. So the thing to know about Egret is she has one eye that's smaller than the other, a lot like Tormund, and it's on the exact same side as Tormund's actually. And she also has a very slight underbite. These are incubation fluctuation problems. She doesn't have a neurological disorder or anything like that. Um, but when I saw her, it was like fate because her and Tormund were born the exact same month, a year apart, and they both had one little eye and one big eye on the exact same sides. So when I saw her, and it was also from like a breeder that I'm friends with, I was like, I must have her, she's amazing. So that's Egret hiding, and I'll include a picture so you guys can get a better look at her. But that's it, that's Egret. So this is Benjen, and he has some dirties on his head from superworms, like he's got superworm guts on his head. Oh, hold on, I'm grabbing a superworm for him. Benjen will not take from tongs, like he has to hunt it on his own with like some assistance. There he goes. Anyways, so that's Benjen. He is a lot like Merlin. Uh-oh. Sometimes he does that. It's okay. He has an underbite, so sometimes he just drops food out of his mouth if he can't get into it well enough. Oh no. Can you get it? Are you doing okay? <laughs> Benny. He's been very enthusiastic about food lately, which is like wild because he normally doesn't eat that much and that's why he's so skinny and so lanky and long. But he's a lot like Benjen in that, I'm sorry, he's a lot like Merlin in that he has some deformities. He has uh, skeletal deformities. His lower jaw protrudes, so he has a pretty significant underbite. Let's see if I can get up closer to him. I'm over here, Goofy. <laughs> you gotta come back out to get more food. See, look, he's literally still ready for food. Yeah, you see how, how far his jaw sticks out? And then he also has like a really, really flat head. See? <laughs> so cute, though. He never, like, is this wild about food. It's crazy. He just loves a new bookshelf, I think. Which makes me really happy because I want him to eat. <sighs> Come out. It's okay. Here. It's okay. You almost got it. Oh. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I pulled it away from you. You literally had the head. Here. Here. Almost. Good boy. Oh, careful. It'll get you. Careful. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. So, like, the the dots on his head behind his eyes. So, like, let me see if I can. So, like, the dots right there on behind his eyes. It's not scratches or anything. He literally has super warm guts on his head. Oh. I didn't close her door. Look who just came out to see me. Hi. Hello. What a, what a good little girl you are. I didn't close her door because I'm about to install a hammock in her house. Because they all have hammocks. See, Benjamin's got one right here. Hi. Are you ready to eat now? Are you ready to eat now? Hi, hi, hi. How are you doing? All right, let me close up Benny's house and then we'll get to you. Fearless. So this is Jojen. He's not coming out on his own, so I'm gonna have to reveal him. <laughs> Hi, pal. How are you doing? Here, I'll show you his face. He's a little skittish because he has white and yellow syndrome, but that's okay. All right, let me get you the superworm. He likes to hunt on his own. He doesn't like to be tongue fed, so it takes him a couple tries sometimes, but he usually gets it. Okay. See it? Oh no, it's okay. Here, try again. <laughs> it's okay. Here, try again. Look. Oh, alright, well, that works, I guess.
Can you believe he's only a year old? Look how big he is. My goodness. Joji. All right, here. Let's put you back on. Here you go. He's gonna get real big, I think. He's a big gecko. This is Liana. She's healthy and can hunt on her own. She's a feisty little queen. I love her to death. And that's really all there is to say about her. She, uh, she's a fast little lady. Gorgeous. And always hungry. <laughs> wow, I thought I had pressed play, but I didn't, so you missed him eating. <laughs> anyway, this is Aaron's gecko, Vash. He's named after Vash the Stampede, but I'll tell you what, if I had got to name him, and honestly, like, sometimes I just think of this as his name, but, uh, in following with all of the Game of Thrones names I have, his name would have been Jorah. But yeah, that's Vash. I'm about to hang a hammock in his house. And then we're gonna move on to the last few geckos. So here we have Sam and Gilly. I've removed their cave so that I can feed them on camera. Oh, it's okay. They both have Enigma Syndrome, so I have to tongue feed them. Sometimes they get in the first try, sometimes they don't. All right, try again, try again. Oh, that's okay. Here, try again, <laughs> try again. Oh, you literally pinched like just the outside of it. Good girl, you got it. As you can see, there are two poops back there <laughs> because there are two geckos that live in this house. If you wanna know more about that, I have a video all about why I house them together. I typically would not house geckos together, but Sam and Gilly are housed together because they have uh, severe enigma syndrome. They've been housed like over their whole lives. And apparently, as I was told by their former owner, when they're separated, they do really poorly. They stop walking, stop eating, and I got them. This one was almost dead when I got them. And so I was obviously not about to separate them and jeopardize their health. And ever since, which is two years later now, they've just been really good together, really healthy, happy. So yeah, that's Sam and Gilly. Beautiful little Tangerine Enigma Queens. Oh. <laughs> That's Gilly, that's Sam. And, um, you know, eating well, and oh, there's a wobble. <laughs> but yeah, they're just great girls. I love them to death. <laughs> uh oh, why is that tail doing funny things, Gilly girl? Here, I'll put their cave back so you guys can see it. Watch out, watch out. Oh, you're like right in the way. Here, come here. It's alright, I'm not feeding you. Here you go. Okay, let's put you back. Come here. Oh, settle down. There you are. Hey, you. Settle down. What are you freaking out for? There you go. House is back. And that's that. That's their house. And these are the sisters. The sisters Enigma. that back and forth head movement that she's been doing and that circling right there. Two signs of Enigma Syndrome. This big boy is Tywin. He's a really, really big gecko and it looks like he's about to shed. He looks pretty pale in color. Go on, get your worm, dude. What kind of weak bite was that? Usually he's crazy about supers, but I bet you it's because he's about to shed. Oh no, oh no, oh son of a- So he's not eating because he is about to shed. But that's Tywin, he's a really, really big gecko, like 120 grams, he's huge. And he's pretty chill, just really loves his food. This is also his house, and he poops up here. He only poops up here. Sometimes he'll poop on here, but most of the time it's up here. In terms of health, Tywin pretty regularly gets um, sperm plugs and he also has some shed problems. I'm not sure if it's just because he's so big or if it's because his toes curl. I don't know why they do that, but they've always been like that since I've got him and I have no idea how old he is, so they could have been like that for a long time. 
um, but his toes are curled, so like this shed gets stuck on his toes. Other than that though, he only has a problem shedding like his underside where his uh, vent is, which is probably why he gets sperm plugs because he can't reach in the first place. Where did he be? I can't even see him. He's back there somewhere. This special girl is Renly, and she can be a little picky about how she eats. Like she likes to see it move, but she also likes to eat it off tongs, like you just saw. She doesn't like it like put up right to her face. But this is the beautiful, enigmatic, eccentric, exciting Miss Renly. And the reason I give her such a title is because she is a beautiful, wonderful psychopath. And she's like super old, so like you wouldn't think she would be, but she is. <laughs> she's amazing. Look at that cute face. So I rescued Renly, she was really, really underweight, malnourished. I was told she was a boy, which is why her name is Renly. And to this day, like three years later now, three years this month actually, she's doing real great. And last but not least, we have Miss Brienne, who's also crazy when it comes to eating. Do you see the look she just gave that worm? Game over. So Brienne is a lot like Renly. They're both really active, really crazy females who do a lot of climbing and trying to escape their enclosure. They're just like <laughs> amazing energetic beings. But Brienne was also a rescue. I actually got her with Varys and she was really, really underweight like him. But now she is a thick, full lady and never misses a meal. But yeah, that's Brienne. And her and Renly are just like, I feel like they are two souls. Like they're very, very similar. The interesting fact about both Brienne and Renly is that they both have really, really big eyes. So it gives them a lot of personality, but their eyes are also kind of their downfall. So Brienne has trouble shedding her face due to her eyes, and Renly has issues with depth perception due to her eyes. And actually most like ethical breeders won't breed geckos with abnormally large eyes because it's considered an undesirable trait because it can come with other problems. So even though Brienne and Renly are just stunning babies, um, they're typically like not desirable traits, even though they're gorgeous. Ain't that right, Brienne? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you see my arm moving, it's because I'm petting my dog. He's very needy, as you can see by the dent in my nose. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like the gecko bookshelves. I hope you think they look really great. And I hope you like watching my geckos get their noms on. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Check the links below for all kinds of social media and also a Patreon. I have actually released some very exciting news on Patreon about one of the geckos that'll be filling one of these shelves. If you'd like to know more, you can head on over. It only takes a dollar to get all of the benefits. So if you want to put a dollar, that's fine. If you want to put more than a dollar, I appreciate that and that's also fine. Please leave a comment and a like. I love talking to you guys in the comments and that's all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!